It's been called the biggest scandal in NHS history. In the 1970s and 80s, thousands of people across the UK were given blood products that were infected with viruses such as hepatitis C and HIV. So far, almost 3,000 people have died. Many had an inherited bleeding disorder called haemophilia and regularly needed donated blood clotting products, which in some cases were infected. But it's feared tens of thousands of non-haemophiliacs may have been infected through blood transfusions too. Well now, a long-awaited public inquiry has begun, and this week we're hearing from some of the victims and families who were directly affected. Tonight, Jean Hill in Torquay, in Devon, tells us about losing her husband, Ron, who died after being infected with hepatitis C. Um, I still talk about Ron like he's still here, and some people don't even know that he's gone because... I can't help it, he's just part of my everyday life. My name is Jean Hill and I was married to my husband Ronald Hill for nearly 23 years. Ron was a wonderful man. He was funny, he was bright, he was caring, generous um, and he loved his life. Ron was a mild haemophilic which is, um, it's a, a problem in the liver where they don't make a clotting agent, so they're given factor eight to help the blood to clot. He was tired all the time, his skin was going yellow, his eyes were going yellow, he was always in pain in his side. He used to just lie on the sofa most of the time. We were aware that the hep C had come from blood products, but not as much as we are now, because um, without the internet, we didn't know the story of it. We didn't know where it had come from, how it got, how the virus was in the pooled plasma. We didn't realise that they were infecting him every time they gave it to him, not just once but every time. Well, after Ron died, I just shattered. I totally collapsed, gave in, give up. I didn't want to do anything. I just lost it, to be honest. I didn't know how to deal with life without him. Oh, <laughs> The ripples just go on, so now my grandchildren have missed out on the most wonderful granddad. He never got to walk his daughters down the aisle. We've missed out on everything that he had to give us, and we're so much poorer for it. I'm glad we've got a public inquiry, and it's something that we really need because we need to know the truth. I don't want my husband to have died in vain. I don't want my strong, healthy man to have been poisoned and died for nothing. I want to know why they used the blood products when they knew, even if it was just an idea that they might be contaminated. How dare they use them on my husband? Hi, Ron. Hello, Dad. <laughs> We go up to the tree, his memorial tree, and we have picnics there. Um, the grandchildren can go there and play around it. He's still part of our life. He'll always be part of our life. You know, they took my husband, but they can't take my love. <laughs> 